Well, hello there, beautiful people. My name is Python, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Survival, my friends. We're on the 12th episode, you just heard a potion being brewed, and I want to thank you guys for the insane support you showed in the recent community post that I put under the community section on my channel page. For those of you guys who don't check that out every now and again, I highly advise you to do so, because every now and again, I'll put out polls and updates and all sorts of stuff asking for your guys' feedback. And admittedly, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be completely transparent. I was kind of wanting to focus only on Hermitcraft, but because of the community pushback and all of your guys' uh, comments in support of this series running alongside it, I've decided, hey, why not? Let's go with it. So guys, today, today, we are going to be doing some awesome stuff because that isn't the only reason why there hasn't been an episode for a while. The other reason is this. 18W10B. We are now on a brand new snapshot, which does have the new aquatic stuffs. All of the stuff in the ocean is now added. Oh, what the heck? Is now added at this point. My elytra just freaked out there for a minute. But uh, yeah, all should be fun. All should be fun. But uh, yeah, talking of fun, guys, here are the potions that I'm currently brewing up, some water-breathing potions, because what we're going to do, guys, today, as a bit of a fun little side thing, you know, not really working on any projects or building today, I thought we'd go for a bit of an explore to see what kind of new 1.13 stuffs we can find. Maybe, just maybe, we can find ourselves some of the brand new ocean ruins, and therefore maybe even some treasure chests, and, you know, you can even get treasure maps to find even more treasure. So wouldn't that be amazing? Ah, yeah. So there we go, my friends. We've got ourselves a bunch of uh, water breathing. 24 minutes worth in total. And before we get into anything, we've just got the common question of the video, which is the response for my request for a name for this settlement, which is coming from Real Boris Buff Connects. Maybe a name for your settlement could be Mahogany Coast. I love that name! I love that name. For some reason, it just rolls off the tongue. And in my opinion, this is kind of a mahogany jungle wood. It just makes sense. You see, in uh, Terraria, the jungle equivalent wood is indeed mahogany. So, to me, it makes sense. It just does. Mahogany Coast just sounds really, really cool as well. But uh, anyways, guys... As I'll say, we're going to go explore and we're going to try and find ourselves some new ocean ruins. And uh, upon finding one, we'll start using our water breathing potions then. But in the meantime, maybe what we could do is have a bit of a fly around, see what we can find. Yes, I have replenished my elytra, entirely so. So we've got a full durability's worth of that. But uh, check this out, guys. Check this out. There's a freaking frozen ocean here. Right next to my jungle now. So for those of you guys who are unaware, what I have been doing, I don't think I explained it before, but what I did is I took a 6x6 chunk area, that being the settlement itself, and then I pruned the chunks all around it so they all regenerated with the 1.13 stuffs. Now the reason why I'm not going to go ahead and do any building outside of the settlement is because there is a... In fact, I know that uh, the terrain generator is going to be updated even more in the future 1.13 snapshots because there's many, many more things to come. We've got the dolphin mob. We've got naturally spawning coral blocks to look forward to. We've got all sorts of stuff. We've got shipwrecks to look forward to as well. There's lots of stuff, guys. There really, really is. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And yeah, like I say, the reason why I'm not building out here is because I am very likely going to prune the chunks again when the 1.13 update is feature complete or the snapshots uh, get to the point where they are feature complete, where there's no more terrain generator changes. And then after that, we'll just stick with it. So yeah. Alright, so, I mean, all we could do at this point is just have a bit of a, uh, have a little bit of a look around. Maybe we use one of these now, and then we start seeing what's going down. So, guys, check it out. One of the other things in 1.13 is this. There are now physical fish that swim around in the ocean, slash in any water environment, and they do drop their respective things. So, we've got salmon there. Good day to you, sir. And not only that, but uh, as we go around, look at this. There is a now a swimming animation. This is amazing. <laughs> this is actually amazing. I'm really, really, uh, I'm really hyped for the 1.13 update. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, this is probably the biggest update since 1.7, which introduced all of the new biomes. You know, the savanna, the roofed forest, all that kind of stuff. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well, because honestly, it, it's, it's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be an amazing time. What is that? That looks like some sort of structure. Is that a ruin? Hold the phone. Have I actually found one already? No way is there one this close to my freaking base. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I think we're getting closer to it. Dude, that was a very distinctive sort of... 
I don't know. To me, there was a very distinctive kind of tower looking thing somewhere over here. <gasps> yeah, guys, ruins, voice crack. Yeah, look at it. We finally found one. I've just realized as well. Look at that. I've got 11 breath bubbles. There's normally only 10. Why is there 11? Is that a bug? Eh, it would make sense, considering these are, of course, snapshots. But hey, guys, check it out. We found ourselves one of the ruin buildings. In fact, there seems to be some sort of ruin settlement. Look at it. Lots of stuff. It's like the lost city of Atlantis, except lesser so, because Atlantis is a bit more El Grandio than this is. Holy moly. Right, okay, guys, let's check it out. Boop. What do we got? Okay, so we've got coal, we've got wheat, and we've got a lure to fishing rod. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, right, what else have we got going on here? There's another little ruin down here. You see, these are a great source for various resource blocks, which might otherwise be a bit of a pain in the butt to get. You know, you've got mossy cobble, mossy bricks, uh, you know, cracked stone bricks. Oh, it's thundering. Oh, how appropriate is that? That's just a bunch of poo. There's even naturally generating freaking sea lanterns here, guys. This is kind of awesome. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> If I break any more of these blocks, look, they start floating up. That's awesome. I really am a big fan of that. Right, talking of being a big fan of things, I would be a big fan of being able to find some more loot. Now, I did, I have generated a few worlds just to, you know, test things out, test out the old waters, as it were. And it is always a good idea to dig around. It's always a d good idea to dig around these places because more often than not, you're going to find yourself some chests just, like, laying underneath, right? So if I, for example, do all this... Uh, okay, so in this case, there's actually nothing. Uh, what about in here, though? Oh, we just uh, went in that one, didn't we, of course. Uh, right, what else have we got? We've got ourselves another little build down here. Let's have a little bit of a look. Hello? Anything for the Pythonator? Come on. Down you come. Right, aha! Yes! Buried treasure! Fantastic. We've got ourselves some more coal, some more wheat. Okay, so the general uh, consensus is fishing rods, wheat, and coal. Bit of a strange loot table, but uh, oh well. It's loot nonetheless. I mean, the lesser I have to go mining for coal, the better, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> it's all good, my friends. It's all. Ow! Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, yeah! That's right. Magma blocks now generate in the overworld now as well. Something to consider going forwards. Uh, right. Oh, there's a chest right there. Hello! Oh, guys, another brand new thing. Treasure maps. So if I go and uh, equip that and have a look, uh, it might be better if I take the shield off and then we can actually have a look. So I don't know if you guys, you eagle-eyed viewers can see that, but uh, the pointer is at the bottom of the map, just, uh, you know, just under the XP bar, slightly to the left. So yeah, what that means is I need to go to the northeast in order to find that X marks the spot treasure chest. Ooh, dude, this is going to be sick. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at all these just random blocks floating up to the surface. <laughs> That's awesome. Certainly gives some uh, new ideas in terms of item transportation. Huh. Talking of item transportation, if I was to go ahead and chuck a piece of steak on here, as you can see, it gets sucked down to the bottom because of the magma blocks. And I also get sucked down to the bat b bottom. I also get sucked down to the bottom because of magma blocks. This is cool, man. This is cool. All right, what else have we got? Uh, more coal, more wheat. Uh, how many more lure, lure two fishing rods am I going to get? Mate, I'm so surprised that I can't even talk properly. Although, then again, I've never been able to talk properly, so, you know, that's a thing. Uh, yet more coal and yet another lure two fishing rod. What the heck? How many more of these things am I going to get? That's amazing. Okay, uh, there's a little tower over here. Uh, you got anything in here for me, buddy? Uh, yep, 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 yep. Another treasure chest with yet more coal. Are you kidding? That's five low two fishing rods. Are they enchanted stuffs or all the same enchant or something? That's kind of nuts. But here we go, guys. We've got ourselves a bit of a tower here. Uh, okay. Uh, leather tunic. I mean, we've got all these generic blocks, which I'm probably just not going to use. Ah, but uh, with that said... I think that the armor is going to be useful because, you know, obviously we've got the whole patron cove thing and, uh, you know, armor is needed for that. So, yeah, all is good. Right, anything up here? Uh, got some more sea lanterns. Free sea lanterns for the Pythonator. Certainly, uh, you know, means that I don't have to go around to uh, a bunch of freaking guardian temples to get them. I mean, you only get a small amount, let's just be frank. You get a small amount, but it's a good amount nonetheless. All right, so, yeah. Alrighty, I think we're just about done with that little ruined settlement, though. That's really cool, man. Honestly, 
I'm a big fan of this. Right, let me just uh, check. I've got about two minutes of water breathing left, so I could potentially try and find some more. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Not, not bad loot. We could probably combine a bunch of these things. We can get like two two lure three fishing rods, uh, which means we'll be able to catch things faster, which is cool. But in the meantime, it might be time for us to go ahead and try to find this treasure. So let's start off by going east. As you can see, my uh, marker on the map is indeed moving. Uh, to be honest, the easier way to do this would be to use elytra. All right. Uh, right. Uh, somewhere over this way. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. It's filling in. It's filling in, which means we must be getting really, really close. Uh, okay. Wow, you move really quick on this map. It must be really zoomed in. Right. X marks the spot. So, according to the map, it's somewhere around here. Hmm. Uh, sand. Like, do we want to, like, dig out a bunch of sand? Like, how deep down are these things? I don't actually know. Not even in my testing rods did I ever get to the point where I was looking for treasure chests. Uh, oh, no, no. I like nuggets. I like nuggets very much. All right, let's have a look. Uh, I mean, I don't imagine it's going to be... Is it like under this gravel? Let me just refer back to the map. Yeah, we're pretty much on it. It's got to be somewhere around it. Ah! Found it! Yeah! Okay. Right, what do we got? TNT! Wow. You can get TNT in loot chests now? Damn, that's kind of nice. Prismarine crystals. Yeah, why not? I'll take some gold as well. Uh, <laughs> you see, the funny thing is I was talking about how I don't have to like get these things by just crafting them anymore. And then here's me just going ahead and dropping them anyway. Oh, Python, you're such a dumb dumb. Right. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do a thing real quick. Uh, what if I grab out my monument stuff's chest and then put the fishing rods in there? In my opinion, that makes sense, right? So let's go and put that back in here. Uh, we'll pick this thing back up. Oh, oh, oh. We are now starting to lose breath. We should probably get another one of these drank real quick. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's uh, chuck you away. Let's grab out all of this uh, here fish. And then away we go. Wow. Cool. You know what, though? I think it... Oh, wow. Uh, I think it would be really cool for us to try and find... All of the various different sub biomes that you can get in oceans now. Like we're on a beach right now. We've got like frozen oceans. And the the ocean floor, the ocean bed, uh, the material that it has depends on the kind of biome that you're in. So for example, we've got frozen ocean there, deep frozen ocean. There's a bunch of salmon here. Hello. How you doing there, buddy? Yeah, frozen oceans appear to have gravel on the floor and also no kelp. I mean, we've got all of this stuff here, you know, the seagrass, but there's no kelp. So I'd be pretty interested to try and find all of the different, uh, you know, the different sub-biomes. It would also be a nice idea to get out of here, you know, uh, without drowning and stuff. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Uh, can we, like, actually get out of here? Ah, there we go. Looks like we can get out there. Brilliant! Okay, so, yeah, rather like Dora the Explorer. If you guys see a bunch of freaking kelp on the floor, you shout for me, okay? Right, maybe we go over here. I mean, there's an island coming up over here. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hey. Hi, how are you doing? There's a thing down here. Oh my god, it's another settlement of ruins. What? Wait, no. Wait, is this the same one? No, no, it's different. Oh, mate. More lootsy doodles for the Pythonator. Come on, then. Let's have a look in here. Uh... Anything, like, underneath? That's weird. Weird kind of block lag going on there. Uh, nothing so far by the looks of it. Okay, so there's nothing in this one. Uh, maybe somewhere else. Maybe, just maybe somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's go and have a look in some of the other buildings. We've got some uh, more sea lanterns to pick up. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's grab that. Uh, wait. Where did it go? Wait, what? Oh, it's there. <laughs> that was weird. What the hell? All right. Uh, wait, have we already discovered that? We've already discovered this one, man. I'm such an idiot. This is actually the exact same one. Oh, guys, but there's kelp there anyway. We found a different sub biome and a bunch of different fish. Hello. What are you lot? Wait, can't I? Uh, you can go ahead and bucket these guys, right? Oh. <gasps> 
tropical fish bucket. <gasps> oh my god. That's so cool. We can pick up fish in a bucket and then make our own aquarium with it. That's cool. Hey guys, check it out as well. If you go between the different ocean biomes, the colour of the ocean changes. So, for example, here we're in the deep frozen ocean, it's very, very blue. But then we go into the lukewarm ocean, and it's uh, sort of sky blue, if you will. Dude, that is awesome. There's a bunch of kelp just randomly floating. What? What is this magic? Who is destroying this stuff, man? I am very confused. Oh, mate. This is awesome. Holy moly! What is this one then? Lukewarm motion, but there's no kelp here. Look, there's even more stuff! Hello! So what do these guys give me if I kill them? Eh! 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 Oh, they give you clownfish! That's pretty interesting! Wow, okay. Uh, right, I I'm gonna I'm pick them up. Why not? We can have a bunch of Nemos going around. Hello! Oh, mate! I wonder- Hey, there's puffer fish. Oh, mate, this is cool. Okay, uh, right, I have to stay away from these guys because because apparently they will give you a pretty severe poison effect if you get too near them. Mr. Zombie, you are not a part of this update video. Please go away. Right. Oh, that is cool. Right. Boop. Okay. Boop. Come on. Kill him. Hey. Oh, wow, these guys are insane. Hello. Huh? Don't hurt me. hey -ya! Hey, I killed him. Oh, you son of a gun! Hey! No, 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 no! Get off! Get out of here! No, no, no! I am not dying in the ocean. Not today, sir. Right, where did that... Oh, no, there's more people! Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, hang on a minute. There's turtles! Guys! Turtles! Awesome! Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Oh, no! I don't want to... I don't want to kill a turtle. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. I legit didn't mean to do that. Right, uh, puffer fish. Yep, there we go. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, where'd the rest of them go? <gasps> There's one. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. So if you manage to kill them while they're extremely small and you catch them before they start bloating up, they don't do any damage to you. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Right, what's going on over here? I want to see those turtles, man. First time ever seeing turtles just in a regular survival world. Oh, mate. I've seen them in testing, but not just, you know, just randomly around. Oh, mate. That's cool. Hello. Wait, can I breed these guys? Hang on a minute. Boop. Okay, so it's not wheat. I can't remember what you feed them. Is it fish? No. Okay. Clownfish? Not clownfish. Uh, salmon. Boop, boop. Nope. Okay. Right, I need to figure out what they take. Meat. No. Okay. I mean, what other stuff is there? Kelp? You take kelp? No. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to figure that out at some point. I've completely forgot. But, uh, yeah. Not bad, guys. We found turtles. We found the ruins. We found treasure uh, using the treasure maps. Dudes, things are looking really freaking good right about now. So, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed. Uh, not as far as I know. I could be mistaken, though. But like I say, because I'm not doing any building today, what I'm likely going to wind up doing is, upon future snapshots coming out, that also change the terrain generator. In other words, you know... Uh, you know, coal blocks start naturally generating. I will prune the chunks again around this area, have them regenerate, and then we can have all of the new stuff nearby us. Now, I'm really hoping, of course, that uh, you guys won't class it as cheating. I don't think it's cheating, personally, because you're not really gaining anything out of it. Like, it's not an unfair advantage. It's just regenerating things that are around you. So... I don't know, like, I'm not directly gaining anything. Like, I'm not giving myself a ton of diamonds or anything. Like, it's not even comparable. So I hope you guys are okay with me, you know, pruning and regenerating chunks around my base so I can get the new stuff without having to go thousands of blocks away, therefore increasing the file size, therefore making world downloads a little bit more of a pain in the butt for you guys. But anyways, guys, I think uh, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. We've had a nice bit of an uh, exploring slash checking out the updates episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do be sure to drop a like rating. If you did, it would be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And once again, a whopping massive thank you for the support for this series. I really do appreciate it, guys. And uh, yeah, be sure to keep dropping those like ratings if you do want to keep seeing more. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next episode.